Hey everyone, since last year the Xiaomi Mi A1 has been one of the most popular mid-rangers that has stock Android. What could be better? Its successor, the Xiaomi Mi A2. I'm Angie for GSM Arena, and this is our first look at the top features of the Mi A2. The Mi A2 is the global variant of the Mi 6X, which was already announced in China. There's Gorilla Glass 5.0 on the front, and the back is a metal unibody. Here you can see the cameras with the now common vertical camera setup. There's a fingerprint reader, and there's also face unlock, but it's called Trusted Face. Sadly, there's no headphone jack. It has a USB-C port, and it supports Quick Charge 3.0, though the included charger doesn't. The phone has an almost 6-inch Full HD LCD panel. Colors seem to skew towards magenta, but is decently bright and has good sunlight legibility. The Mi A2 comes with Android Oreo 8.1. One of the phone's biggest draws is that it's a part of the Android One program, and will receive all of Android's latest updates as soon as they're released for the next two years. Sounds awesome, though Android 8.1 for the Mi A1 was delayed, so let's hope things will be a little bit better with this one. The Mi A2 sports the Snapdragon 660 with 4 gigs of RAM. It's a really fast chipset for a mid-ranger, and it'll be able to handle all games and a fair bit of multitasking. What we're most curious to see is how it will affect the phone's battery life. The Mi A2 has a double camera setup with one 12 megapixel camera and a secondary 20 megapixel one that works in combination with the first to create better low light shots. Our first photos came out really well, with nice rendition and colors and good levels of detail. Only dynamic range left us wanting for more, even though we use the default auto HDR mode. In the front, at 20 megapixels, the selfie camera also looks promising. The few selfies we took came out great with plenty of detail. The camera always adjusted the exposure so that our faces looked their best. The Xiaomi Mi A2 is a more premium and svelte device than its predecessor. It launches at a slightly higher price, but it packs more to make up for it. There's still a lot left to find out, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss our full review. See you next time.